When you set out on your aesthetic life, mm. you and your friend walked away mm. from mm. what had been a very unsatisfactory yes. society, mm. uh, a, a religious society, but mm. unsatisfactory in mm. spiritual terms mm. as far as you were mm. concerned. And you walk and you had a very strange experience as you came through the clouds. Mm -hmm. Do you remember it? I do remember it. I, I remember it very, very clearly indeed. That doesn't go back, you know, quite so far as my you know, recollection of uh, Tell me how I realised, you know, that I was not a Christian. Eh? But that also is very, very vivid. I mean, I, I can, I mean, as I think, as you ask me this question, I can almost sort of, you know, see it in my mind's eye. Eh? Uh, I left, as I thought, you know, at that time, you know, worldly life behind me. I say at that time because I've come back to it in a different sense, on a different basis. I left it behind in 1947, three days after Indian Independence Day, hmm? 18th of August. And uh, it happened in the little town in the Punjab of Kasauli, some thousands of feet above sea level, beautiful green hills. And we, we came down huh? uh, the, the, the road, huh? the winding road, huh? down the side of one of those green hills. Huh? And everywhere, there were rainbows, eh? because it was raining and the sun was shining, but everywhere there were rainbows. There were double rainbows and triple rainbows, and there were dozens and dozens of them all along the path. So I took this in a poetic way, you know, rather than a really seriously religious way, as a sort of good omen. Eh? And my friend and, 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 and I, we, we just walked through these arches upon arches of double and triple rainbows into, you might say, well, into the future. And has the future lived up to that good omen, however poetically interpreted? It is beginning to do so. Hmm? It's not very easy for the real, as it were, to live up to the ideal. Huh? Uh, but it is possible, and this, this is really the, the bedrock of my belief, huh? that human nature can be transformed and that society can be transformed. And this is really what we have to devote ourselves to doing.